ちゃサラエビンつくば I'm now in GSI, Geospatial Information Authority of Japan.、Uh, this is my friend,、uh, Mappi Kun. I'm now in front of the room of Director General of Geodetic Department. Hello. Hello, welcome to Geodetic Department of GSI. What are ongoing missions of geodetic department? Yes, our most important mission is to establish and maintain the geodetic reference system in Japan. In order to maintain the standard geodetic data, we measure precise position of GSI's reference points by conducting several surveys constantly, such as VLVI. GNSS leveling surveys. One of the observation stations is on the premises. Please see it later. And the important work is going on at Ishioka Geodetic Observing Station. This is a very good opportunity for you to see how we measure the relative position between VLVI. And the NSS. I was guided to this place. This is a GNSS observation station operated by GSI. The observation network is also called GeoNet and it consists of over 1,300 stations. GeoNet provides Real time GNSS observation data to various users in real time. GeoNet is widely used for public surveys, location based services, monitoring of cluster information, and academic purposes. GeoNet also contributes to international GNSS service, IGS, for the estimation of precise satellite orbits and maintenance of the global geodetic reference frame. GeoNet is now important infrastructure necessary for precise positioning. Now we have just arrived at the Ishioka Geodetic Observing Station. We have seen a much higher GNSS pillar in Tsukuba. Also, here in Ishioka, there are a couple of GNSS antennas. In order to measure and monitor the precise shape of the Earth, it is essential to make a continuous international collaborative geodetic observation such as VLBI, GNSS, and others. Here in Ishioka, we are operating two of those techniques VLBI and GNSS. Not only within this geodetic technique, But also among different geodetic techniques, international collaboration is essential to measure precise shape of the Earth. The International Association of Geodesy, the United Nations Subcommittee on Geodesy, and other relevant stakeholders are working closely to strengthen this collaboration. Ishioka Geodetic Observing Station is participating in this collaboration. And contributes to measure and monitor the precise shape of the Earth. Now you see that big antenna, and Hayashi san is waiting for us. This antenna is called Ishioka VLBI antenna. 
the antenna receives microwave from celestial objects called quasar, which is hundreds of millions of light years away. The data observed by Ishioka antenna will be recorded in this room. Let's go! A 24-hour wave observation requires a maximum data capacity of about 50 terabyte per observation. Wave observations are carried out in cooperation with institutions around the world that have a wave antenna. By processing the observation data of each antenna, we can calculate the positions of the antennas, the Earth Orientation Parameters, EOP. This week, here in Ishioka, it looks some measurement is going on. Let's ask Sato-san about it. We are going to conduct a special survey uh, to measure relative position between VOVI and GNSS precisely. This survey is called collocation. Since we cannot observe the reference points of VAVI and GNSS antenna directory, we conducted several surveys to estimate the relative position between GNSS and VAVI. This relative position is called a local tie vector, and it's very important data to join two different space geodetic techniques. So we are going to submit the data of local tie vector to International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service and contribute to the determination of International Terrestrial Reference Frame, ITRF. The reference point of this antenna, we estimate, is around here. The reference point of the antenna is defined as the intersection of azimuth and elevation axis. In order to where this point is, we install targets on the outer edge of the antenna or on the wall of cabin. And then we measure the angles and distances while changing the direction of the antenna little by little so that we can describe the trajectory of the targets to estimate azimuth and elevation axis. Now we have a choice to observe the target from outside the antenna or from inside. This time we estimate the reference point by inside method. The reference point of GNSS is the bottom of the antenna mount. This is a special pillar. We can set the target just beneath the antenna, so we can measure the distance and the angle uh, without removing the antenna. Now, Nakakuki-san is about to install this measurement device. This is a total station. We install these mirrors at where we want to measure, and with the distance and angle. This is a digital level for measuring the height. You can measure the height difference by reading barcodes of the leveling rods. This is a GNSS equipment. It is used for azimuthal observation. This is a receiver. And this is an antenna. Let's get together over there tomorrow. What we do here 
is a survey to measure the azimuth angle. We set the target light at the reference point. And the staff at Ishioka, uh, about 10 kilometers far from here, observe this light. After this observation, uh, we will replace the light with a GNSS antenna and begin GNSS observation. He is observing the target light at the summit now. This long distance is necessary to obtain the accurate azimuth angle. It's the angle from the true north, so we must determine this angle to fix the direction of local tide vector on the earth. I am measuring angles and distance uh, of pillars and the VLBA antenna. This total station can search the center of target automatically, so we can observate the target without looking into the telescope. I just need to input rough coordinate values of targets in advance. We are doing GNSS observation at Ishioka and Tsukuba mountain. We will calculate the azimuth angle using the observation data by a total station and GNSS. We are measuring relative height between pillars. He is reading the height with 0.1 mm resolution. We carried out the measurements of angle, distance, and height between GNSS, VLVI, and pillars. What we do next is the observation for estimating the reference point of VLVI. Now, we will start inside method observation. This total station is rigidly fixed to the ground. And I'm measuring the distance and angles of that target. After a series of operations outside, there are still some paperwork going on. I'm checking trace of the patient result. How was that? Today's observation was all good. Good. Here are visitors from JAXA. I'm Takehiro Matsumoto from JAXA. Uh, now JAXA is developing a new SLR station in Tsukuba Space Center. SLR is one of the ge space geodetic techniques. You can precisely measure the distance between the ground station and the satellite using laser. After the development of Tsukuba SLR station, we also plan the local tie observation between SLR and GNSS. So we came here to study the local tie observation. Here are visitors from Japan Coast Guard and University of Tokyo. Hello, I'm Yuto Nakamura, an officer of Japan Coast Guard. And the Japan Coast Guard operates satellite laser ranging at Shimosato Hydrographic Observatory. And last year, we collaborated with the Geospatial Information Authority of Japan to conduct a local tide survey between our SLR and GNSS. We completed all our missions at Ishioka. So we'll go back to Tsukuba and calculate the local tide vector. Here in GSI Tsukuba, the local tie measurements are being processed. Please look at here. This figure shows trajectories of target on the antenna measured by inside method. We estimate the intersection of azimuth and elevation axis as a reference point of the antenna. Please look at this monitor. We calculate the local tie vector using a special software, so we prepare the input files compiling the data we measured at Ishioka. 
Now I start the calculation. Here is the result. These values indicate the position of the reference point of PLBI antenna. And this, this shows the local type vector between VLBI and GNSS. These plots are showing the relative position between VLBI and GNSS. This shows the local type vector. What is your impression of the collocation survey? Yeah, everything was so impressive. Uh, the main mission was to measure the precise position uh, in a 40 meter scale in Ishioka, but they used uh, a point of Mount Tsukuba, which is 10 kilometers away. And GSI colleagues were uh, so experienced and also very friendly uh, and worked in a very, very, very co uh, coordinated way. And in today's society, uh, we are using location information here and there, and it was a great opportunity to realize that it is based on your continuous efforts. And I really enjoyed and learned a lot. Thank you very much. We have seen uh, space geodetic facilities and activities here in GSI, Japan. If you are interested in uh, worldwide activities, go there. And uh, if you are interested in Japanese activities, go there. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 Okay.